underground we start our story in a Disney laboratory. Super duper confidential spot. Where a bunch of crackpot scientists said what the heck we're trying this and grabbed up every story that we got. They threw them all together in a mashup machine. Produced a glowing orb about the size of a bean. Slid it underneath a microscope and found a bunch of cutesy characters just futzing around. Wait, are we sure this was a good idea? Uh... Hello, Chibi Couple! champion of love, I, Tilly Green, am thrilled to be hosting the Chibi Couple Game! In between our chibi shorts, three couples will compete for a romantic trip on the relationship! Plus, the lucky winners will share a smooch on the Chibi Kiss Count! Let's meet today's contestants. Their love transcends multiple dimensions. It's Star Butterfly and Marco Diaz. They found love in a boiling place. It's Luz No Seba and Amity Blight. And they'll be doing two do's till they say their I do's. It's Hailey Banks and Scott Denoga. <gasps> what? Uh, while we sort this out, enjoy these love themed chibi shorts. <laughs>
this. Uh, that's my bad. I thought the chibi couple game meant chibis play a couple of games. But we can't be on a dating show. We're friends. Oh, we started out as friends too, but then we fell in love. Us too. Uh, shouldn't we be cutting to shorts? <laughs> couple name. Bloomity! Starco! Scaly! Correct! Wait, Scaly? Yeah, Scott plus Haley. I just thought of it! But we can't have a power couple name if we're not a couple. Well, our judge accepted the answer. Beat us, the game show judge!
for round two. During the break, we asked you to make your favorite person's favorite food. If you guessed right, you win 100 points. Marco, what did you make star? Easy. Marco's super awesome nachos. Correct. Luz, what did you make Amity? Fresh baked fairy pie. Aw, thanks, Patata. Correct. And Haley, what did you make Scott? I messed up because I couldn't think of... Correct! What? But I didn't even pick a favorite food! Wow, you're right! I don't have a favorite food because I love all foods equally! Sushi, lasagna... Oh, sushi, lasagna! And with that, all our couples are still in the game! But we are not a couple! Oh, come on! That's so cute! Come on down to Zombie Town and meet our hero Zed. He wants to play football and help the zombies get ahead. Then one day he meets Addison, she slaps him in the face. But soon they both discover they're crushing on each other. Zed proposes Addison, come party with his friends. Meets her snooty parents and plays human make pretend. But look out for Bucky, he's a bully with hot goss. Turns out there's he been hacking to up Zed's football tackling. Bucky goes too far, the zombie zombie out. The crowd freaks out, Buck's nearly chowed. Zed gets arrested. Addison reveals she's got secret white hair. The crowd freaks out, her parents pout. The zombie kids all feel sad, but then everybody unites. Yay! Through the power of friendship, they get along. Singing this song, no kiss, just hug. But now there's another movie. Hey, turns out Seabrook has werewolves. They're looking for the moonstone or else they will die. Zed's hit by a school bus asking Addy to the prom. Then the werewolf's entrance leads to anti-monster laws. So Zed runs for president to try to make things better. But he's up, he's out again, so mean old Bucky gets the win. These werewolves think that Addison's the leader of their pack. She gets a couple hair braids, now she's got the werewolves back. They protest at the power plant to rescue the Moonstone. Their dance is super polished, but still the plan's demolished. The werewolves all get sick, the earth begins to crack. They find the stone, they get recharged, a boulder traps them. Addison tells Zed, you need to zombie out. He moves the rock, their lives are safe, they go to front, there's a kiss. But now there's another movie. Whoa, turns out Seabrook has aliens, they need a map to point them to Utopia! Zed wants to get into college, then he'll be with Addison. But aliens wreak havoc, now the citizens are mad at them. A cheer off is approaching, so the aliens decide. We can't just tell them why we're here, so let's pretend we came to cheer! The aliens investigate the moonstone for a clue, no map. They beam up to their spaceship, Addison gets beamed up to old snap. It turns out that her grandma was an alien space scout. Wait, what? But Addison is sour. Cause she ain't got no powers. Addison zaps it, he zombies out again. Turns out she is an alien, the map's inside her. They jumpstart the ship, get sad and say goodbye. Then change their mind, cause Zebra was your trophy this whole time. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, Eliza's a robot. Next round. For 100 points, we've asked your other half to use magic to reveal your favorite color. Of course Scott brought his magic kit. Luz, what's Amity's favorite color? Is it lavender? <gasps> Ooh, I'm afraid we were looking for periwinkle. Ah, oh, come it's on. It's the same thing! Is it... Star, what's Marco's favorite color? Is it... Plum? No, it's Prussian blue. Ooh. Scott, what is Haley's favorite color? Pesto Chango! <gasps> it's a red ball, and red is Haley's favorite color. He didn't even do the trick right! Mm. Our judge says it's the thought that counts. Scaly takes the lead. But we're not a couple! Sure you're not. <laughs>
question worth 200 points! <gasps> that means we could still lose! I mean, it's not like we'd be missing out on some amazing prize. Uh, just a moment. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm here in the relationship has all-you-can-eat sushi lasagna! <laughs> we gotta win now! What? Who decides on these prizes? Why, our prize committee, of course. Beta. <laughs> your significant other want to be when they grow up? Oh, I know this one! No, Scott, She I... wants to be a sushi lasagna chef! Huh? Incorrect! I'm afraid that cost you 200 points. And we're out of time, which means Starco and Lumity are both our chibi couple game winners. Woo! How is this short game? Kiss, kiss, kiss! Oh, you really wanted that sushi <clears throat> lasagna, but I I'm glad you made a mistake. Oh, I got the answer wrong on purpose. Really? I could tell you didn't want us to win, and I'll always do what I can to make my best friend happy. Oh, Scott. It is a bummer we missed out on sushi lasagna. You want this? It's disgusting. <laughs> 